theme of the event today is the uh, Freshman Experiences in Mechanical Engineering Design Competition. And uh, it's basically a race of these vehicles that the students designed. And uh, they, in designing the vehicles, they, they use physical principles that they learned about in the course. I hope it works. It was going just fine before we already started. Let's get the box and take it all out. The students have to learn both the physical principles that make their vehicle work, but they also need to understand how to procure materials, how to build things, how to hot glue, use the drill press, um, a lot of really practical engineering experiences. I'm just trying to make sure that my car survives. That's all I can hope for. We have built a mousetrap and rubber band powered car to go around a slalom course. This is actually a really tricky project because the students are limited to rubber bands and mousetraps as their sources of power and because the vehicle not only has to move forward, it also has to turn, uh, it's, it's, it's really challenging and so the students have to sort of combine the different degrees of freedom of their engineering system and figure out how to make good power transmissions and lower friction and, and deal with all those practical problems. Okay, thank you. And we'll call that 22. If I win it, I'm going to shock on the Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> We'll get started. So everybody knows there's a, a race bracket up here. It's kind of small print, but we'll call out the names. Uh, let's still be running. The On your mark. Get set. Go. has to begin at the start line and then draw a, a line with pen or paint or whatever they like uh, through a series of, of gates basically to go through a slalom course. And so the vehicle crosses the start line, moves forward and probably starts to curve and then uh, has to curve around the other direction to pass through another gate and then finally has to propel itself down to the finish line which is 11 feet from the starting point. I think what this project does is it gives uh, something for everyone because in a typical course like the math and the physics that the students are also taking, uh, if they're good at taking tests and those kinds of experiences, then, uh, then those students are already doing well. So this helps uh, students who are better at uh, hands-on learning and have a lot of mechanical intuition and uh, so, so we like to explore all the different parts that it takes to become a good engineer and this is one of the few experiences that they'll get um, early in their college career to decide if this is the right area for them. So so I think while it may encourage some students more and discourage other students more, it um, winds up being a good balance with all, all of the other things that they learn in their regular coursework. Making some of the parts was, was a lot of fun. Um, it was interesting to figure out how to figure the, how to do this turning system. Well, seeing as at this point yesterday we had completed the course about three times out of maybe 200 tries, I'm thinking we did pretty well here. We were a bit, little too far to the left and a slow start. Our first race, we uh, we did much like we did. The race went perfectly. We were like playing. We were racing against like one of the best cars. Um, we also have um, we got to use a blowtorch, which was very entertaining. Uh. I think today's program went terrific. <laughs> the students were really enthusiastic, they put a lot of work into it, and uh, the majority of vehicles actually did some steering and, and, and really moved at least halfway down the course, so, so that was really gratifying.